Hey everyone, Crystal Dream Studios here. It's Kayla. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a galaxy with watercolor paints. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, first off, make sure that you have the proper brushes. Uh, preferably, preser preferably a soft tip. Uh, it's usually silky. It's good for absorbing water and all around watercolors. Uh, this is a jelly roll pen. It's good for stars and detailing, so it's always good to have. You can always use just white acrylic as well, but this kind of gets a more controlled uh, detail. Alright, and then we have my watercolor paints. I apologize if they're a mess, um, but these are cakes. It's what I use to paint all of my works with. You can use chalks, you can also use um, liquids, um, but any should work. Alright. So first off, you'll need to make sure, oh sorry, before I do, uh, this is the watercolor, I mean, acrylic white paint, so be sure you keep that on hand as well because that's good for a splatter effect. But anyway, uh, first up, we're going to need to wet the area. Um, we'll start off, oh, I'm just going to use a regular brush. You can use only any brushes for any, um, just one brush for the entire thing, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure you load it up with water as much as you're able and you're going to apply it in the area that you want to paint. Um, you, you're going to need the, the paper to shine um, like because you can see here that it's shining a little bit so you want it that shimmery effect. You don't want to overload it where you're dripping everywhere but you want enough on there that the water freely moves in the area that you are putting it in. So we're just going to do that real quick. Okay. Now you see that shine that I got going on there? It's not overloaded, it's not drip, it's not trying to move anywhere else that I put it in. It's, it's all there. It's, yeah, so. At this point, what we'll need to do is find your color. So use a lighter color and just kind of let it do its own thing. I mean, you're not wanting to control it because the whole point of the galaxy is to have its own movement and that's the whole point of this. So I start off with a green for the main one that I'm going to be showing you. Um, I just kind of splatter it everywhere. I like to see, I just push it in the areas that I want them in and I just let it do its own thing. Okay. The next step that you'll want to do is get an alternate color uh, to kind of offset the lighter color that you're using. I'm using a blue here um, to kind of give it a more of a colorful effect. And you can see that with as much water as I put on there, it's allowing the watercolor to move in a flowing manner. It kind of looks like clouds and kind of a cauliflower effect. It's kind of what you want here. Not a lot of people like the cauliflower effect when it comes to galaxies, but that's fine. It's just what I prefer. Um, so what I'm going to do, you're going to need that to dry. I'm going to stop for a minute to do the other um, pieces. So there we go. Okay, so now that it's dry, it'll be, I mean, you can have it a little damp, um, but 
for the most part we want it to stop moving. So again, load your brush with water and check how damp it is because you want it a tiny bit damp and not too damp. But now we get a different, we get a deeper color. We're going to intensify the colors that we have here to give it more of a clouded effect, to give it more of a depth and complexity. So you really need to load that brush. You're going to really need to load it with color and add, a, like I said, a lot of water is needed here. So again, don't try to think about it too much. Just kind of let it flow. Don't try to overcomplicate it because then you're just going to get these kind of fake clouds things going on. And it's just, that's not the effect that you're going for. So you just kind of just go where you have it before. So I had the blue there. So I'm going to kind of go around those areas. The lighter areas you kind of want to avoid a little bit um, because those are the areas that you want really to shine through. You want that to be like your basis so you don't, so you have those lighter effects and you have those darker effects. We'll hit the darker effects later in the video. Uh, you'll see what I mean later. Um, if you have any edges that need to be filled like I do here, you can fill them if you want. I didn't really put a border around any of the circles here because I was just trying to get the galaxy down. Um, but you can uh, get masking tape even, or not masking tape, but a masking fluid to make a clean, crisp circle or whatever area that you're doing it in. I just wanted to get it down for you guys. This is my first how-to video, so this is... So bear with me. <laughs> Alright. So I'm intensifying more of the colors, especially the blue. I'm leaving this most of the spaces for the green. What I'll also be doing is I'll be cleaning my brush and be sure to clean your brush between each, you know, transition of color. You don't want to muddy your colors too mad. But I will, once I clean my brush, I will load it with water and I'll actually blend water with the colors to kind of give a more of a clouded effect to, to give it a more softer feel. Um, here I did add a darker color. I think I added a darker blue. Um, with a tad bit of black. Do not over excess on the black because the black will take over. You want to avoid using black as long as possible um, in the second step. All right, yeah, see here I'm using the water to blend it up a little bit so it's more cloudy. And I added more green. That way it's still there. And again, between each transaction, you're going to want to dry, have it dry between each step. It's very important. Okay, so now that I've done with this, I'm going to go jump to the other two, so bear with me again. Thanks. Here I'll be adding more of intensified color. Um, this is where I'll be start adding in a little bit of black um, and brown for the redder tone. Um, to the intensified next layer of our galaxies here. I'm usually you can do more than just three layers um, like I have done here, but there's more, I mean, you can make it more complex with more layers if you want. You can intensify the colors more, you can focus more on it, you can get better cloud direction, whatever suits your needs. But this is just a simple how to 
do a basic galaxy so three layers will do you just fine I use three layers all the time any other time I do galaxies and it's never really done me wrong I mean it seems like people really like it now make sure that when you are painting with the darker colors that you don't try to hide your lighter ones too much you want the lighter ones to still stand out however you still want a cloud effect with your darker colors so don't think too much on it just push the water in the directions that you want them to go load your brush with water and just let it do its own thing I mean the galaxies I mean that's why they're so good is because you let them kind of live on their own you let them do their own thing and that's why it makes them look so beautiful in my opinion now I did add a little more black to this one I kind of just dabbed it but I'm not letting black control the entire piece. That is very important. Please do not. If you want it to actually look, you know, realistic in a way, do not overload on black because there's tons of colors in galaxy-like images like this. So just kind of let it do its own thing. Uh, with, like I said before, with the reddish tone, I usually tend to do a brown effect more than I do anything else. But with the lighter, cooler colors, I tend to use blacker. Um, but you just mix the black with the darker colors you're going to use. Okay, now to the next two. Where we do the fun part. Uh, this is where we take our acrylic white paint and we, okay I put too much on this one um, but you only really need a dab, like a dot. You'd like see even that's too much. Um, but you'll take your uh, watercolor, sorry your brush, load it with water and you're gonna want to mix it with that acrylic I and mean, you're gonna really want it kind of where it almost drips. Um, we want it really liquidy to be able to do with it what we want to do with it. We're gonna make, uh, we're gonna do a splatter effect to make stars for these galaxies. So yeah, a little more water. Okay. And you can take another paintbrush to help with this. Uh, you basically take another paintbrush and you hover it over the area that you want to do it in and you just tap. Now careful, uh, this can get everywhere. I mean, I think I even got my phone a few times when I was doing this, but that's fine because as you can see, it's making that nice splatter effect of stars that galaxies tend to have because stars are just kind of everywhere. So I mean, you can't really direct that all the time. Uh, and even if you get small ones, you can just re, and if you want more of an effect, just reload your brush with the white and just keep on tapping until you get the desired effect that you want. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And... I tend to do a lot of splatter effects because I like the tiny little stars. So, I mean, go as much as you want. Don't... I mean, it's it's however you feel that you think it's good. So, at this point, uh, this is where I bring out my white jelly roll to get more a uh, controlled effect of where I want things. This is where you can make bigger circles, uh, you can make little planets, um, you can make shooting stars, um, you can even make sparkling stars. I tend to go all three. I mean, I even make half moons at times just to kind of give it that, a, you know, that it's a galaxy effect. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's whatever you feel that the picture needs. I mean, just kind of let it 
You just let it come to you. Don't overthink it. And that's pretty much how you do a galaxy. Now, like I said before, you can use any color schemes that you want. I mean, really explore with how much colors that you want to put into this. But, I mean, otherwise, it's fairly simple. It's really not that hard. There's other videos like this um, that are probably better than this one, so I apologize, um, that are better equipped about teaching you how to do this. But this is just how I do it. So I do hope it helped. Um, I did get a lot of requests for this video, so I hope that whoever requested it, um, you really get a lot of, you know, you feel better about doing watercolor galaxies because they are fun to do. I mean, I do them in pretty much anything. Um, I do again apologize for the quality, uh, not the quality, uh, the audio portion of this video. I just kind of went with it and next time I do a how-to will definitely be a lot better. So if you have any suggestions for any other how-tos, please be sure to comment them below or uh, email me or hit me up on Amino, whatever the case may be. I'm always here, always willing to take feedback and uh, your commenting. I do appreciate all of the things that you do. So, <laughs> all right, I do hope you enjoyed the video and like, subscribe, and please ring the bell. All right, thanks guys, enjoy.